Hi guys, I'm back again. So we've, we're working on frottage. I base coated this on Teeb's Green and I just did my, I waxed it with clear wax and I did my first application of Napoleonic Blue using the frottage method um, with the crinkled paper. So it's all dry, so this is what it looks like now. So now I'm gonna take a little bit more wax and just real quickly wax this. I find that waxing in between, if you do the frottage method without waxing, um, for me, Annie's paint is so porous that when I put the second color on, it soaks right into it. And when I p crinkle the paper and pull it off, I don't get as, as modeled of a look. Um, if that makes sense, too much of the paint soaks in. So I like it when I wax first because it kind of I can pull off more of it. Okay, just gonna wipe it back. Again, turn my rag off and there we go, just about ready. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna do one more color on this, and I decided to do Provence. I think that's gonna be really pretty. So um, this is Provence, it's a beautiful turquoisey blue. Annie Sloan, and again, I have it in a little yogurt cup, and I washed out my brush, and look at this brush. This had this blue paint on it just a few minutes ago, and I only used water for about, counted to 30, cleaning it out, and all that blue paint came right out. This stuff washes out beautifully. So, I've added water, again, with my little spritzer. You want it a little bit soupy, and now I'm just going to Put on some Provence, just like I did the Napoleonic. Sometimes at this point people are thinking, oh my gosh, she's ruining it, but yeah, it'll be okay. Okay, I think that's good. All right, so while that's still wet now, we're going to take another piece of paper, crumple it up. You can use newspaper. Um, I've had people use saran wrap, plastic wrap. Different types of paper and plastics will give you different looks. So experiment. Get a couple of cabinet doors at your local Habitat store and play around with it. Okay. Just gonna open it up a little, but not all the way. You want those crinkles. And here's the frottage part. I bet you all ran to Google and Googled frottage, didn't you, to see what the sexual implication was. Yeah, I know you guys. Now, you want your paper, paper crinkled. If it's not crinkled enough, if you do this, you're gonna get handprints. You need all that crinkly in there. Okay, cross your fingers. We're gonna lift up, see if this worked. Oh yeah, I love it. You can see the Napoleonic blue. You can see the Antibes green, uh, the Provence. Look at that. Mm. It looks like some kind of Italian stone. And if you want to pull off more, just kind of get in there and see you can pull off more. Great. So I will just dry this and I'll speed it up with a blow dryer. Um, we'll come back after that because I'm going to wax it again and it's going to be absolutely beautiful. So um, this is all, you, all there is to frittage. It's that easy. Go to your local stockist. He or she can show you how to do this. Maybe they're offering a workshop in frittage. Um, it's great for furniture pieces that maybe are marred. Uh, for accent pieces, it's beautiful on chandeliers and lamps. It gives you that stone look. 
but they're going to be able to show you, sell you the products you need to get the look, give you all the help that you need, take advantage of their expertise. They've all been very well trained. So that's it. I will post the waxed finished piece, but that's all there is to frittage. It's that easy. So I hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you soon. Bye.